Laura Osnes backstage here at my dressing room live from the Jacobs Theatre. You're watching with the band. Backstage at Bandstand on Broadway. Um, it was a very exciting week. We got to freeze the show, which means we're no longer making any more changes. We're in our final week of previews because we open next week, so that was super exciting. Um, so we had our few final rehearsals, just kind of finishing up um, last minute touches to make this show the best that it can be. Um, and we also had some really exciting guests come to the show this week. I've had a lot of friends um, coming to support, which has been so incredible. And then my family gets in town next week for opening, so. It's gonna be great! Come along. There will be. Off. There will be a lot. Cross off. Cross off. <laughs> Cross off. Cross off. There are two notes that are left on here. And those are for me. Because there's moments that I'm not happy with. So you guys should feel hugely proud of yourselves because I warned you on day one mm -hmm. that we were just going to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing, but you should be so proud because you were amazing through all of the trenches with no attitude, with slight attitude, but <laughs> mostly no attitude. Andrea had a lot of attitude. <laughs> Blame it on Dotto. And, and you know, our good work, our good work, the writer's good work, all the good work couldn't have continued to happen if walls were up at all, and there were no walls, and, and I'm sure there were days where you were so saturated, as my friend Tommy Kale says, it's like when you keep pouring water in a plant, but it just can't go in anymore. Like, you guys didn't do that, you just kept taking the water, and we need to give a humongous shout out to all of our stage management. Yeah. <laughs> So I have a new apron today, which is very exciting. We're sitting we're like two weeks into previews, and um, I'm adding a, a new costume piece. I had another apron that um, was lighter blue, and it was like splattered with blueberries. It looked like I like murdered some blueberries. And so they got me a new one that just looks like I spilled flour on myself. So the entire Cott family came tonight. Carly's here, Corey's sister, with his beautiful wife Meg, who is literally about to cut. Meg, you're gonna have a baby like any day. I, in one week. In one week. Well, I'll do in one week. Oh my gosh. Can you guys, Corey's gonna be a dad. Corey and Meg are gonna be parents. It's gonna be remarkable. This might be the last time I see you with the baby still in the oven. It's true. It's true. We were talking about today how the baby might, um, soon you're gonna be saying a line from the show, get out! But like, you know but mean? after Thursday. <laughs> get out. On Thursday, get out. Right. We're gonna wait till we're gonna open on Wednesday. Right. Thursday, get out of there. Thursday, get out. We want you out. <laughs> Thursday would be a great day because we have Thursday off. Yeah, so, so Corey would be great. Great. Yeah, so we should show. Right. Be great. Be, okay, from, from your mouth, what will make it happen? Thursday. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet baby Cobb. It's a boy, right? It is a boy. Yeah. It's, a boy. Oh. it's gonna be a little mini Corey Cott, like running around. It really, I, I pray every day that it looks just like Corey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Please be a little Corey. I love you. <laughs> Yay. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. Uh, hey, Laura. Happy day. Uh, so, can can you guys like set the record straight? Like, what is Bandstand about? Bandstand is a, is about a group of uh, ragtag uh, hockey players um, oh. who are uh, sort of in the system. They don't have a strong male role model, and so uh, Jeff Packard plays. Um, no, no, no. This, is this Mighty Ducks? Are you thinking Mighty Ducks? Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Mighty that's Mighty Ducks. Oh no, that's the plot to Mighty Ducks. That's oh. close though. What is it's close though, Jeff. Bandstand. I can help you. <laughs> if you sure. Okay with my, yeah. I have my thinking hat, cap on. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually an army helmet. Bandstand. It's kind of, it's kind of offensive, so. Bandstand is about two people, two uh, a guy and a girl, played by Laura Osnes and Corey Cox, mm -hmm. and they send emails to each other, but they don't know that the other person is the other person and okay. they meet at a coffee shop and they talk about they talk about like this person that they're emailing and they're like are you talking about this is you've got mail. mail oh fuck uh, it's this close. is it's not easy here i'll help you i'll fix it i'll fix it that's not that's Ooh, what's happening here it's a, oh <laughs> your cup's too small jeff i get that all the time <laughs> so let me let me straighten this out uh for our coffee break um this cup runneth over <laughs> uh bandstand is about 
uh, Corey Cott and Laura Austin. So they're playing obviously the female and male lead. And Corey Cott shows up at this lake house and he opens up a a mailbox. And inside that mailbox is a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a French film. What is this? <laughs> I think that's a normal. I think no, no, he's no, I mean your movie. They open oh no, this mailbox. is Lake House with Keanu Reeves. No, no one's ever heard of that. <laughs> no one's seen that movie. Guys, movies. it's we're bandstand. We're no, trying to get bandstand. Band Man, I'll, uh, never mind. I'll, next week, I'll, we'll get it next week. Oh my God, we'll really get it next week. We, we've got to figure out the plot someday. <laughs> no um, one actually. You know what's what's true, Laura? No one knows. Story time with Beth Level. Story time with Laura Snails. Uh, uh, uh. Hi. Ladies and gents, this is Beth Level. Hello. She plays my mom in the show. She's the best, the absolute most wonderful every day. I love our moments on stage and off, as you can see. Look at her cute dressing room, by the way. Thank you. Um, Beth, I want to hear, how many Broadway shows have you done? Twelve. I know. Well, I'm a little older than you are. When you're my age, when you're my when you're age. My, when I was your age. When I was your age. What were you doing when you were my age? You're 31? Oh, sorry, are we supposed to say that? It's fine. It's okay. 31. Yeah, you can Wikipedia it. So. Oh, that's true. There's no secrets. There's no secrets. No, I'm not ashamed. Uh, at 31, I had just... I was doing crazy for you. <gasps> That love was doing crazy for you when she was my yes. age. Uh, yeah, I was doing crazy for you. I just started. I think that's right. I'm going to have to do oh the math. Oh, my gosh. I don't know, and I did it for, um, until I got pregnant. Perfect. Well, with my what is that saying? Second <gasps> baby, and then, I, and then I left. But that was Very crazy cool. for you. Oh, my gosh, and you were tapping your brains out. You still remember some of the steps. I remember Can all of the steps. Can you just give us a little example? Mm -hmm. On top of the table, I remember. Top of the table and stiff upper lip. Yes! <laughs> that was brilliant! That was one of my favorite ones. Hi, you had to go through a tunnel to get out of the car. And, you know, right. But, um, but, um, but <laughs> I tripped. And I was the last one out, so it was like, Big out! <laughs> oh no, are you serious? <laughs> and were laughing so bad, but I was just like full pink splat. Splat. It was so pretty. It was felt so cool. Oh my gosh, I fell oh, on I stage. So hard. You did? Once. Um doing hold on, we're gonna go back to our couch. Hold on. I fell on stage once doing South Pacific. Oh. Um I there's those shower doors mm -hmm. that have the thing. And I, I was about to step into it, and all the girls are asking, like, Nelly, what's wrong? And I was like, nothing's wrong, it's okay. And I step into the shower, and I fall, like, face first into the shower. So my, like, bare swimsuit legs are sticking out the back toward the audience. Feels Everyone good, laughs. feels good. And my head is sticking out the oh back of gosh. the shower. And I'm debating whether to crawl through from the like upstage side of the shower or like crawl back toward the audience and I ended up going through because I was not going to go like butt to the audience and I came around the side of the shower and I was like, I'm fine! I literally <laughs> said that in the middle of the scene I was like, I'm fine! Well, we want to know as an audience member that you're okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, please come see our show. Please come see Beth. <laughs> see you next time on Story Time Story with Time Beth. with Laura Osnes. I love you. Love you too. Thank you for joining us on With the Band. See you next week for opening night.